Okay, so new series on the channel while we're in quarantine. I, was, I had my, uh, my first episode last week where I did a uh, blueberry banana bread French toast situation. Today we're doing a taco. In my world it's Tuesday, which means always tacos, but any day is good for tacos. Tacos are my absolute favorite thing in the entire world. And I'm going to do a different play on tacos. This is something that I was thinking about as I was trying to fall asleep last night. I'm going to make a buffalo wing taco where I'm going to make the tortillas. I'm going to rehydrate that with a buffalo wing sauce. I'm going to make like a blue cheese kind of like hot sauce, wing sauce spread for the bottom of it. I'm going to top it with fried chicken where it's going to have a bunch of spicy seasonings in there. We got some Carolina Reapers going on. We got all kinds of hot stuff. It's going to be, and then we're going to top it off with um, the rest of the uh, traditional kind of like uh, buffalo wing, chicken wing scenario. So we got some um, some carrot and some celery. We're gonna make a little carrot celery slaw that's gonna go on top of it. And it should be basically a buffalo wing translated to a taco. Okay, I'm going to make the tortillas today with some dried masa. Uh, I make tortillas at home all the time. It's super easy. It's like making pancakes. You only need uh, a griddle and a tortilla press. It's the one thing that you do need. Uh, so it's just exactly what it looks like. Uh, you take a Ziploc bag, get like a big gallon size one, protect it so it doesn't stick. You just kind of close it. Super easy, I'll show you guys how to do it. Um, but I am going to start with a quarter cup, I'm gonna start with a half a cup of dried masa because we don't need that many tortillas today because I'm only making like probably one or two, I'm only making like two tacos today. So I'm, so even, even a half a cup is gonna be too much for what I need today, but we're not doing a full batch. Okay, I got a half a cup of masa, put that in my little bowl right here. And we're basically only going for um, the right consistency. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna measure it out, but we're more talking consistency. Normally you would use water to rehydrate your masa. Sometimes I use like vegetable stock or chicken stock to rehydrate it to give it a little bit more of a flavor. Today, I'm going to be using, well, you could be using something very simple, like something very simple, like Frank's Red Hot, if you're gonna go for like a buffalo wing. I'm gonna use something much hotter. So I'm gonna use Cluckwing Orange by Defcon. This is one of the hottest um, buffalo wing sauces and the most delicious wing sauce on the market. It is absolutely incredible, but it does have an extract in it, so it is ripping hot. So we do need to be careful. So I'm going to go about a quarter cup of this to rehydrate the masa with the actual hot sauce. And this is going to be tricky because I can't really touch it because it has extract in the sauce and I don't want to get it all over my hands and get my hands burning. So I'm gonna use a fork, just get this all going. Tell you what, I'm gonna work this with my hand inside of a Ziploc bag to protect myself. And that's gonna make life a lot easier. Okay, now that I have the dough kind of rolled out, it's kind of like a cracky, like kind of like a cracky pie dough almost, or the like consistency of pie dough. Uh, it's beautiful looking. It's exactly what I kind of envisioned. I want it to be like bright orange, uh, exactly like what a buffalo wing sauce looks like. So I wanted the tortillas to look like wing sauce, and it does. So, uh, one gallon baggie, torn in half. I'm going to portion out a little bit of the dough. Uh, maybe a little bit larger. Not that much. And kind of... You know, I might need to take even more. So I gotta pop a portion of the dough, a little bit, about the size of a golf ball, maybe a little bit smaller than a golf ball. Place it in there. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice even pressure on the tortilla press. Gentle, gentle. And we have our tortilla. So I'm gonna do that a couple more times, then I'm gonna get this on the grill. Uh, Cause I'm gonna cook these outside because I do not want to gas my house out with fumes. So cut to the grill. Tortillas made. I have them warming or staying warm in this uh, tortilla kind of holder. It's time to fry the chicken now. So we're gonna we're gonna work with chicken thighs, which are the best. 
Uh, we're going to season them with a whole variety of different things. I will put a link in the description below to exactly what I'm going to be doing. I have buttermilk and egg whites here, and then I have my dredge here, which is just going to be Italian triple, uh, double zero flour and also a double combination of these ingredients as well. So we're going to dip in the buttermilk, we're going to dredge them, and then we're going to get them in the frying oil and get them frying. Okay, we're coming right down to the end now. So we have our fried chicken, it looks beautiful. I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks amazing. We have our tortillas in the warmer that are continuing to just hang out. Now, last two things is we're gonna make a, a blue cheese buttermilk kind of like uh, base. It's gonna hold the chicken so it's not gonna slide around in the tortilla. And also add those buffalo chicken flavors to it. Got some funky blue cheese. I love blue cheese. Gonna take a nice chunk of that in the bottom of this bowl. Set that guy aside. I'm just gonna put a touch of buttermilk in it just to loosen it up. Okay, so we got that. It's basically spreadable now. All I do is slice up some carrot, some celery, it's gonna have some crunch, it's gonna be a topper, and then we're gonna build this thing. I want it to be pretty fine diced. This is going to add some color and some of those traditional buffalo chicken flavors. Add some celery. I'm just going to split this long ways. Set part of it aside. I'm just going to take this little sleeve right here. I'm going to kind of cut it on a bias so that way I'm Avoiding the strings that are in the celery simultaneously. Okay. That should be plenty. Now let's build this thing. All right, we need to grab a nice piece of chicken. So we got a piece of chicken right here. We're gonna take our blueberry, or our blueberry, our blue cheese kind of compote. And we're just going to spread it all over the bottom of that tortilla. I'm just gonna make sure that this piece of chicken doesn't slide around. I'm gonna take this chicken, we're gonna to have to cut it up just a little bit so that it's gonna work out. So I'll place a piece right there. Maybe a piece right there, and a little tiny piece right there. Well, this looks beautiful. All right, now we're just going to top it off with our carrots and our celery. Maybe one more little dollop of this blue cheese buttermilk mixture. Okay, here's the finished product. So we have a tortilla that we made with um, Cluck Wing Orange by Defcon. Uh, it's a buffalo wing sauce. It's extraordinarily hot. It's got Reapers in there. It's got an extract in there. We fried chicken with a whole variety of different spices and a buttermilk and uh, spiced dredge topped off with a buttermilk and um, blue cheese uh, sauce situation. And then for a little bit of crunch, we got celery and carrots. All the traditional buffalo flavors all wrapped into one. Buffalo taco. So let's give it this guy a taste and see how he is. Should be ripping hot too, which makes me very excited. I am very hard on myself when it comes to my cooking. 
And I'm not lying at all when I say this is probably one of the best tacos I've ever had in my life. This is absolutely incredible. And it's actually not as spicy as I thought it was going to be, but it's building, 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 building. Most of the spice is going to be coming from the tortilla with that, that cluck wing in it. Oh, here it comes. Woo! That's a spicy gap. But this is, but the blue cheese cuts it. Absolutely fabulous. Um, anyways, that's my quarantine creation this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.